let me say at the outset, it's very clear to me that Zamyotin had read Plato because there's just, there, uh, I mentioned Plato's Republic earlier and, and that really is on one level a kind of working out of the relationship between mathematical thought and erotic openness. And of course, for Plato, for those who've read the symposium, we start with, a, with an attraction to the physical beauty of another human being, and then we're drawn to the soul and finally to virtues and intellectual you know, ideas and so on and so forth. I think you put your finger on something important, Flag. Number one, he falls in love with I-330. And I have to be careful here. He develops a more than sexual attraction for her. And why do I just say more than sexual attraction? Because in this state, there is something called the lex sexualis, <laughs> which is that every number has a right to every other number as to a sexual commodity. There aren't families, there aren't marriages. This is very platonic and you know, this is Plato's Republic. And, and you can use anyone you want. And what this does is- You have to they apply out, for a sex ticket, is that right? Yep, you, don't yep. they, they sort of, do they, uh, do they do an analysis of your hormone levels and they decide how many sex days per, per year you need or something? Exactly, and, right. exactly. And they have a mathematical formula for happiness and it's quite reductive. Happiness equals bliss divided by envy. Uh, bliss is understood as sexual bliss and envy is envy, sexual envy. And the right of any number to any other number reduces envy to zero. So if you reduce the denominator to zero, then happiness becomes infinite. 